On day one, I was a small death warden, searching through the underworld with my sole best friend, Grim. We made it to an ominous temple. Uh, we really shouldn't be here. It feels dangerous. I know, but I have to keep searching. I've been the only death warden in the underworld, and I've been lost. Other ones have to be somewhere down here too. We stepped inside and began to search around until Grim came across a huge abandoned skull. What is this thing? Grim touched it out of curiosity, causing the entire floor to shake. Grim, we should go now. But my friend started to float upwards as black essence and a dark aura surrounded and completely encased him. It formed into a massive skeletal being. What? A pure soul has finally reformed me again. After eons of imprisonment, I will feast upon all the souls here and be reborn! No, no! The skeleton snapped its neck towards me. On day two, I ran through the abandoned halls as the skeleton tore through the hallway behind me. Give up! There is no point! Ah! Because of the pain, I shot out and unleashed a soul boom attack, causing the ceiling to collapse and separate us. Ah, Grim, his body is in that thing? I have to save him, but how? Just then, the being burst through the rubble, but thankfully, I found a tiny crack in the wall and narrowly escaped. Ah! Wait, is this a small ghost town? It was full of underworld spirits. Please, help me! Someone, something took my friend like a monster! A monster took your friend? Get a load of his soul. He sounds crazy. But it was too late. An explosion of rubble erupted from nearby as the skeleton crawled into the cavern. On day three, the being started wreaking havoc through the town as it ate a soul. Killing it? How is that even possible? All of the other souls saw this and began to panic. Everyone, run! What even is this thing? No, you released the soul eater? Wait, you know what it is? Yes, it's the scariest being in the underworld. It's not a soul or a spirit. It's a mindless monster. And with it back, the entire underworld is at risk. But what about my friend? The soul eater, he has him. The spirit didn't listen and made a break for a tunnel. Hey, get back here. I followed it as we escaped the chaos in the town. From there, we were venturing up high through the underworld tunnels. Hey, I've never been this high up before. Where are we going? It didn't take long for us to reach a weird exit. What the? As I stepped out behind the spirit, I realized the underworld was much larger than I thought. It was more than just tunnels and caves. It's like an entire world. It is an entire world. And if you have any hopes of not being eaten, you should get as far away from here as you can. The spirit then started to flow away. Wait, you're just going to run? What about my friend? I then looked out and spotted a ruined ancient city. Wait, more wardens? On day four, I sprinted into the ruins. Hey, hello? Anyone here? Other death wardens. They had to have built this place, right? I continued to search around the area until I came upon a deadly looking claw there on the ground. As I went over and picked it up, something began to happen. My claws grew and my soul surged with power. I feel so much stronger. What the heck just happened to me? Suddenly, a couple of hellhounds appeared encircling me. Well, 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 a lost soul roaming into our territory? Look, I'm not your enemy, okay? A soul-eating monster is destroying the underworld. We 
we don't care, took our chewing claw. Give it back. What? No, no way. They both howled into the air as more hellhounds emerged from the ground below. They tried to rush in and attack, but out of instinct, I slashed at them with my new claws, taking one down. Whoa. Ah, retreat! All of them started to leave. Hey, no, not you. Wait, uh, don't hurt me. I, I uh, know something that you want to know. Yeah, and what's that? You came here to stop that soul-eating monster thing, right? Well, I know a guy who can give you all the answers you need. If you let me go, then I'll take you right to him. <laughs> Don't hurt me. On day five, I journeyed through the new terrain with the Hellhound. We then made it to the edge of a river, and on the other side was a large mountain. The golem guy you're looking for is up there. Okay, seems easy enough. I went to jump in the river, but the hound hit me back. Wait, you idiot! Ah, what? I then looked over and started to hear sounds? Is that? Yep, that's the stream of lost souls. It's made of souls that couldn't really find their place. I can relate to that. Well, how do we cross? The hellhound walked up to the edge of the river and kindly said, You're looking very nice today. Because of this, a platform appeared in front of him? Yeah, you just gotta make the souls feel good, you know? Say something nice. Uh... You guys are pretty cool. After a moment, a burning soul flame shot out and knocked me back. Ow! Yeah, you look very convincing. Oh, really? I then looked and saw that he already made it across the river. Just use my platforms, you big liar. Ugh. <sighs> Thanks. I made it across and up the mountain where we found an old tomb. The person we're looking for is here? We entered to find an ancient room. Hello? Hello? But no answer until flames ignited, revealing the old soul golem. Why have you come to disturb my rest? I, I, I'm sorry, but I need answers about- Shh! I sense it. The day has finally come. The ground shook as we all ran outside. There in the distance, a massive pit opened up as the soul eater crawled out and roared before continuing deeper into the world. The Soul Eater, its return will only bring pure horror to this world. What is it? It has my friend. Eons ago, the Soul Eater roamed freely between the underworld and overworld. Its hunger made it the ultimate predator to all beings. Those brave enough to stand against it soon learn the consequences. And the beast is unkillable. Unkillable? Why? No one knows, but a curse was put upon it. The curse forced its consciousness all the way down to one lifeless skull. But as soon as my friend touched the skull... The Soul Eater used him to empower himself back into its weakest form and continues to use it to grow stronger and stronger. Well, I have to find out how to save my friend. I have to stop this thing before it's too late. It's impossible. No one is strong enough. Yeah? Well, how about a death warden? On day seven, the three of us left the golem's tomb and found a secluded looking graveyard. This place has been abandoned for a while. It should be safe. Great. With that, we all got to work building each of our own homes to fit our style. It wasn't long until I finished mine. You know, not so bad. I walked around our base and saw that the golem had built another tomb and the hellhound had built up a doghouse for himself. Wait, I thought you were gonna go back to your pack. And what? Miss this show? <laughs> nah, man. I'll stick around with you. And plus, those guys are a bunch of freeloaders anyway. Um, okay. Suddenly, giant thorn weeds burst through the ground, wrecking our entire base area. Hey, what the heck? Because of their presence, everyone was being poisoned. What is causing this? On day eight, I followed the path of weeds as I was led to a shoreline 
that overlooked an ocean city, but the weeds had also overrun everything here too. Yeah, and it sucks. Wait, what? Oh, a uh, ghost fish? Yeah, what's so confusing, buddy? I'm shocked to see a death warden, you know. Wait, you know about death wardens? Before he could answer though, the ground shook below us as we heard a distant scream. Get this! Ugh, we have way too much going on here. Hey, wait up. I ran after them and saw more ghost fish being hurt by the invasive vines. Wait, you guys aren't causing this? Us? Nope. We hate this stuff with a capital H. It just keeps growing here and drinking all of our water. It seems to be coming from that swamp. Over in the distance was a creepy swamp. Huh, look, what do you know about death wardens? Whoa, ho, ho! I just got a little, little idea. You know, we're too small and cute to explore that swamp. You want to know more about the Death Wardens? Go find and get rid of the source of these weeds, and then I'll tell you everything I know. On days 9 to 10, I made my way into the swamp, but as I went, I heard strange whispers all around me. Uh, hello? Anyone there? Huh. Continuing to follow the trail of weeds, I found a clearing in the middle of the swamp, and there was even more of them. But as I looked closer, I noticed that they all had various items wrapped around in them. Are they stealing from the underworld? Huge weeds erupted from the ground around me and started trying to grab me. Ah, what the heck? I ran through the weeds, trying to dodge their attacks as something caught my eye. A strange looking warden heart. Wait, is that from another death warden? But before I could react, a weed slammed down, causing both me and the heart to fall into a chamber below. Ah, ah. I had fallen into an area covered in roots. Is this place the source of the weed's power? There in the center opened the eye of the weed's hive mind, Dead Root. You invade my home with an intent to destroy. That's what you and your weeds are doing to everyone else. Good. Everything should be in my power. Its branches reached out and struck me head on. Ah! I tried my best to fight back, but he was so strong and more vines kept growing. Oh no! I began to run around the room and that's when I saw it. The Warden Heart. But Dead Root caught on and attacked again and knocked me aside. Ah! No! It was crawling up and was about to finish me when the ghost fish from before came out of nowhere, hitting it back with a spear. Hurry up! You don't got all day! I used the opening to grab the heart and felt another surge of power in my soul. I was now much stronger and gained more health. With that, I was able to unleash a powerful soul boom, eliminating the dead root. Oh, that was close. Thanks. Yeah, I'm cute all right, but I'm also fierce. On days 13 to 14, the ghost fish and I were walking back to his city when we saw from a distance that the weeds were gone. Yes. Okay, I held up our end of the deal. Now, what do you know? Look, it's not much, but those warden body parts you're finding, they are from previous death wardens. I've heard that there are five of them in the underworld that are known to enhance your spirit. I think people call them uh, the deathly remains. So there were other Death Wardens before me. Whoa. Suddenly, a massive roar echoed from the Ocean City. Oh no. Once we made it inside, we both saw the Soul Eater was there, devouring more and more souls. He's growing even stronger. No, no, my people! 
The Soul Eater noticed us and began to slowly crawl in our direction. On days 15 to 16, it launched, landing right in front of us. You, that little soul I saw all those days ago, the one that sent me free. No, my friend's soul is what set you free. So let him go. In my anger, I unleashed another soul boom attack, but it just moved right through it. What? Oh, that was your friend. Would you like to talk to him? <gasps> Confused, I watched as a soul was momentarily pushed out of the soul eater's chest. Bozo, his power, it hurts. Help me. Grim, I will. No matter what, I will. I believe in you. Your friend now belongs to me. And my plans to return to the overworld will succeed. It began to charge right at us, and I was ready to fight. But before I could, the ghost fish summoned a splash of water that blinded my vision. On day 17 to 18, we were both now safely far away from the ocean city. Hey, why did you teleport us away? I have to fight that thing. I have to save my friend. Are you kidding me? You nearly died to that tree monster. That soul eater thing would have eaten you in one whole bite. Yeah, I know. I need to find out how I can stop that thing. What did you say those warden body parts were again? The deathly remains. Well, I need to find the rest of them so I can take that monster down. From there, I brought the fish all the way back to my base and quickly made him a fishbowl home to stay in. Wow, thanks. You know, after everything, I really have nowhere else to go. Yeah, it's the least I can do. As I turned to go towards my home, the soul golem was standing there waiting for me. You saw it again, didn't you? Yeah, and he showed me Grim. He's still alive. I'm sorry. But it's important you stay focused. Nothing matters more than destroying it, no matter what. Now come with me. Hey, where are we going? In the golem's house, there was a soul flame just floating in the center. This soul has been speaking nonsense, but they mentioned a deathly remain. Really? What's going on? I'm... I am lost. I have almost no memories, except for something about a deathly remain. I don't know what's going on. That's okay. How can we help? I faintly remember a forest of bamboo. If you help me travel there, I think we'll find answers for both of us. Did someone save the bamboo forest? On days 19 to 21, I traveled to the edge of the bamboo forest with the lost soul and the hellhound. Oh, I used to love this place. I would come here and chew the bamboo all the time. <laughs> oh boy. This entire forest, it feels so peaceful. This is amazing. We then found a dark passageway leading down. Uh, that's scary, right? Yep, let's go. He dashed in without a second thought. Hey, wait up. Inside, we found a room with a dormant ritual circle. Once I stepped on it, flames throughout the entire room started to ignite. Oh, this is definitely the right place. But we've made it. All right. Now, what can we do to help? When a soul can't remember who it is, it's because they left their memories in the overworld. You gotta retrieve them for me from the cemetery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The overworld? But how and what exactly are we looking for? You'll know it when you see it. Just find the cemetery in a hurry. And remember, you can only visit the overworld temporarily. Temporarily? How temporarily? But before they could answer, the ritual circle activated as I was teleported out. On days 22 to 26, we were teleported into an alleyway of a human city. Yeah, this is definitely not the underworld. There were regular people everywhere. We don't stand out, do we? Ghost! 
Okay, we do. We should probably stay hidden. Ah, oh, you think? Come on, I can smell something this way. We navigated through the city, eventually reaching a cemetery. Wow, your nose led us right to it. We probably don't have much time. Where are those lost memories? As we approached the gates, I overheard the security guards patrolling the entire place. And make sure none of those punks are around here. I'm not scrubbing another ounce of spray paint tonight. Looking around, I finally spotted it. A faint glow that was coming from a crypt on the other side. That has to be it. We stealthily moved across, hiding behind tombstones to avoid being seen. And thankfully, I was able to reach the crypt. Aha, there you are. I carefully picked the orb up, but then... Hey, Arnie, some of them pranksters are dressing up like ghosts. Get them. On days 27 to 29, the security guards were chasing us around the cemetery. Armed with their batons, they started hitting me. Ah! <sighs> This cemetery is closed! Okay, any day now, we're ready to go back! Please! As we made a break for the exit gate, one of the guards hit a switch that caused the cage to trap us. Great! Uh, all right, all right. Which prankster are you, huh? Freddy? Jeremy? Is that you, Michael? I'm not a prankster, man. I got frustrated and shot out my soul boom, breaking open the cage. What the? What, the, what is that thing? The guards sprinted out of the cemetery as I felt a weird sensation, and we were safely brought back to the underworld. Oh, thank goodness. The real world is a scary place, you know. I tossed the glowing orb to the lost soul. And because of this, they transformed into a completed soul. Yes, my memories. I remember it all. Uh, quick, follow me. On days 30 to 32, we followed the newly revived soul to his small tombstone home. And there was a motherly ghost waiting for him. Jake? Is that you? Yes, I remember you. I missed you so much, Mom. And I missed you too, son. As they were reuniting together, I saw past them inside was a skulkified object. Is that... The skulk shard. A deathly remain. It's my mother's most prized possession. Please take it. I have all I need now. I went and picked it up causing me to become even stronger again. My claws grew even more, and now I could burrow through the earth and summon a reaping scythe to attack. Sweet. Okay, man, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's so good to know a death warden is back. Back? Yes, they haven't been seen for eons. Not since the last time the Soul Eater was here. When it fell, so did they. Wait, did the Soul Eater destroy all of them? But before I could have another thought, a bright explosion caught our attention. What just happened? On days 33 to 35, we ran towards the loud noise, and there was the Soul Eater. Is he chanting? And from the looks of things, he was being fueled by Soul Essence. Before him, a dark castle rose out of the ground, and storming from it were soul-eating minions. In a final surge of energy, the soul eater evolved into a more powerful form. He's getting stronger. <gasps> Finally, my old home returns to me. Followers, because of my power, you live. And I task you with just one thing. Bring me more souls, especially the Death Wardens. He cannot succeed in his plans. From there, the Death Minions dispersed and started to search the area. There could be something in that castle that can help us stop him, and I need to find out more. 
Are you kidding me? Those things are all trying to kill you, specifically. Look, I'm already dead. You know what I mean. I don't have time for this. I have to try. On days 36 to 39, I slowly entered the castle alone, and it didn't take long for me to find a long corridor filled with lava. Platforms held up by chains stretched across it, leading to another side. There has to be something here. I better be careful though. While I leapt between the platforms and made it halfway across, I saw a lifeless viking? Uh, what? Are you here to question me now? What? No, I'm not the soul eater, dude. I'm here to take it down. <laughs> Good luck with that. I don't need it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to destroy him and save my friend. Do you even know what happens <coughs> if you kill that monster? What do you mean? Before he could answer, a group of the death minions stormed into the corridor. Oh no, uh, hurry, you're coming with me. Before they could hit me, I burrowed into the ground with the Viking to escape. On days 40 to 44, we emerged from the ground safely back to base. Ugh. You saved me. Yeah, because you know something we don't. What happens if I defeat the Soul Eater? As I said this, we heard more patrolling death minions in the distance. How about the Viking team? Those creatures captured me to find my crew. Lead me back to them, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, fair enough. Before leaving though, I went and reinforced our defenses with fortified walls. With more of those death things out and about, I have to make sure that we're all safe. My thoughts were then interrupted by a loud laugh. And then I said, that fish is way too small. <laughs> yeah, this guy isn't funny. Okay, um, I'm ready whenever you are, dude. <clears throat> Uh, very well. I will uh, lead the way. On days 45 to 47, I was being led by the Viking, traveling through a dense jungle. Hey, do you even know where we're going? It wasn't long until we reached a clearing that revealed a massive, lifeless Viking camp. I guess you do. Sorry. Yes, my people! I chased after him into the camp's central courtyard. Oh, good to see you're back. <laughs> Oh, watch out! A monster is chasing you! No, wait! I'm with him! Come on, tell them! No, he is a monster! Take it down! All the Vikings ran in to attack! I was trying to defend myself using my newfound abilities, but they were starting to overpower me. Then I heard a loud horn, and suddenly a cage slammed down around me that was made of skulk. Looking down from above was their Viking leader, and his helmet had death warden horns attached to it. What the? Let me go now. <laughs> Listen to this beast. How dare he? Those horns you're wearing, they belong to me, not you. He used the horn, blasting me with its power. Ah! Put this beast in the arena. I'll handle it myself. On days 48 to 52, I was thrown into the center of the Viking arena. This can't be good. It wasn't long until the Viking leader broke down the opposing doors. You disrespect me, you will pay the consequences. We clashed as our battle began. I tried using my abilities, but he was surprisingly fast and strong. That helmet, he's wielding the power of the Death Wardens. Your people's horns. You wish to know why I have them? My original helmet, one that has been passed down for generations, was stolen. In anger, he unleashed a barrage of attacks, throwing me back. Ah! He ran in to take me down, but I countered with my sight, knocking him back. Stop! I don't want to fight. Then... Why are you here? I just want to know how to kill that soul eater, okay? Or 
what happens if I do? Ah, so you want something. Well, me too. If you can retrieve my family's helmet and bring it back to me, you have my word that I will tell you everything I know about that monster. On days 53 to 56, we were sailing the deadly soul seas on a Viking ship. So, how do I know that I can trust you? I mean, your men already betrayed me once, you know. All right, you have a point. Surprisingly, he handed me over his Wardenhorn helmet. Because of this, my soul became more powerful. I gained five more hearts. And now, my horns gain the ability to sense any nearby souls in the area. Whoa. Where? You had your people's stupid horns back. Now, bring me my helmet back to me. All right, all right, I will. We finally docked on the shores of a dangerous looking pirate island. So, pirates stole your helmet? <laughs> Not just any pirate. I traveled deeper into the island until I saw that the stealing pirates were skeletons, but they all were acting mindless. Must keep fueling. Fueling? What? I watched as they gathered barrels and supplies and headed into a room inside the skull of the mountain. The helmet, it must be there. Once inside, I saw what they were fueling. The pirates were tossing supplies and were fueling their large and scary skeleton king. What is this? A newcomer on my island? Yep. And I'm here for one thing. I then spotted the Viking's helmet amongst the rest of their treasure hoard. There it is. Ah, so you're here for my treasure. No, only the one that you stole from the Vikings. We are the deadliest crew on the Seven Soul Seas. No one can demand anything from us. He rushed in, attacking me with his sword and powerful fire flames. I was just narrowly dodging his hits when I finally was able to hit him. But wait, you're not taking any damage? What the? My fire burns so bright, not even a warden can stop me. The fire, that's it. I focused on the pool that they were throwing all of the resources in. I got to extinguish it. What are you doing? Some of the skeletons saw what I was doing and tried to keep me away. Just as the king was about to reach me, I unleashed a soul boot right at the pit, extinguishing the fire. Because of this, the pirate king instantly became weak. No, my flame, my flame. Around the room, all of the skeletons seemed to break free from his control. Yar! Thank you! With this flame gone, we here be freed! How can we repay you? Um, no problem. I just want one thing. On days 60 to 63, I returned the helmet to the Viking leader. <laughs> You did it? His men cheered as I returned back and gave him back his helmet. Because of this, it empowered him with the power of his ancestors. Yes, finally, I feel like my rightful power has returned to me. With that, we started to sail back to their camp. Look, you've returned my most prized possession. Sir, I believe I owe you an answer. You wish to save your friend to kill the monster and free the souls it has devoured, right? Yes, and I will do anything. It's my fault that my friend got captured to begin with. I have to save him. If what you say is true, killing that beast might be the worst thing that you can do. Wait, what? What are you talking about? But then a horrifying roar shook the air just as we docked at the Viking camp. 
there before us was the soul eater. It began to immediately devour the Viking souls. And because it was stronger, it can now take multiple of them at once, causing it to grow even stronger. Everyone run! Vikings tried to flee, but as they jumped off the ship, the soul eater cut them off and consumed their souls too. It let out another deafening... No! I charged at it, aiming for its chest, and I hit it dead on. The Soul Eater was actually stunned. No! Stop! I didn't listen. You are gonna pay for everything you've done. Ha! The stronger you grow, the better your soul will taste. Shut up! I jumped up and tried to hit it again with my Reaper Scythe. But as I unleashed it, it hit me back with a powerful blast. Ah! Soldier, you can't destroy the beast. What? Why not? Because if you do, not only will it kill the monster, but every soul it has collected, even your friend. What? The soul eater came in for another blast, but a group of the Vikings ran in to distract it. You two, get out of here. We'll hold it off. The Viking leader and I reluctantly ran away, leaving the rampaging monster to destroy the Viking camp. On days 69 to 73, we barely made it back to base. There, the soul golem was waiting. I'm so glad you made it back safe. Is it true? If I kill that monster, does that mean all the souls within it die too? Yes. All of this time, my goal has been to be strong enough to take it down and save Grimm. But now what? What am I supposed to do? It is the only way. Without destroying it, then all other souls will be lost as well. No, no, there has to be another way. I'm not just going to accept that. Suddenly, I heard a scream ring throughout the base. Hey, hey, everyone! Wait, what's going on? I found it. I actually found it. Found what exactly? Something incredibly useful to us. Well, more you. And maybe the palace with the final deathly remain. The Death Warden Catacombs. On day 74 to 77, I was led by the ghost fish, heading deep underground. It wasn't long until we arrived at the Death Warden warden catacombs not that long ago i didn't even know more of me existed and now i find out there's a whole catacombs made for us yeah man i'm just as surprised as you but uh here they are good luck okay i may need it hello hello the vast underground chamber was completely empty besides one thing at the end was a large tomb and a burning Flame. Is this it? I went up and collected it, but because of this, my vision was blinded by white light. Ah! Uh, where am I? I found myself in an ancient city. Wait, is this that one I saw before? But it's different. And around me was a group of other death wardens. My people, where are we? The past. A time when Death Warden souls existed in peace. Existed? What happened? In Eon's past, when the Soul Eater was at its most powerful, only the strongest of souls could stand against it. The Death Wardens. Its goal was always to gain enough power to break through and into the overworld. But we were the last line of defense. We will not let you through! A battle took place. A battle where we realized our strengths were completely matched. This caused an explosion like none other. This not only destroyed our souls, but reduced the Soul Eater's power down to a single skull. The heroes who stopped the Soul Eater. It was you. It was all of you. The Death Wardens. Look, I'm lost. I need help. My friend, he's trapped, and I know that I need to stop this monster. There may be a way to destroy it, 
and save your friend, but you're not going to like it. On days 81 to 85, my vision returned to the catacombs where the flame on the tomb had moved. Hey, wait up! It led me to a magnificent chamber and the warden's voice rang out from it. Stand there. Okay, what are you doing? Suddenly, Death Warden spirits emerge from the floor, merging into me. Ah! What the? More and more of the spirits followed. Ah! It hurts! What's happening? All of us fallen Death Wardens are uniting with you, giving you the strength you so desperately desire. The strength? There is only one way to defeat the soul eater while saving everyone else. Well, then how? By your defeat. What? Before I could react, the final warden spirit merged with me, causing me to grow. My soul transformed into the strongest death warden ever. I feel so powerful, but my defeat? What do you mean? On days 86 to 90, I was headed back to my base when the ground began to shake. Whoa! Over the horizon, I saw the soul eater standing before his dark castle. Soon, my ascension to the overworld will be complete. With that, he unleashed a wave of soul energy that caused his castle to rumble and rise into the sky. For eons, I was trapped. But now, I'm so close to being free. Followers, keep watch for that pathetic warden. His death minions were on high alert in the entire area. No. I'm gonna need all the help that I can get. On days 91 to 94, I quickly returned to my base and I knew what I had to do. All of my friends had gathered all around me. Is everything okay? Not exactly. I talked to someone, another death warden, and they told me that my soul is now the strongest in the underworld and that if I want to save everyone, you must sacrifice yourself right? Yes, but only when he's at his weakest. And that seems nearly impossible right now. But if anyone is strong enough to do it, it's gotta be you, big guy. But you're not alone. We will fight with you for as long as you let us. I looked up to my friends. I'm so glad I got to know each and every one of you. Now, come on, let's do this together. On days 95 to 99, all of us made it to where the dark castle had risen from the ground. You really just came all this way just to die. I'm here to stop you, and I don't care what happens to me. So be it. Devour them! His army rushed forward to attack. Wait. What are you doing, guys? We'll cover you! You just focus on getting close to the castle. They all charge forward, clashing with the army of the Soul Eater. My friends fought fearlessly and made an opening for me to run past. This is it. I used my Reaper Scythe to take down a few more of them before making it to the foot of the castle. Now what? Suddenly, floating rocks started to appear before me, making a pathway. I'm getting too old for this. Go now! I jumped all the way up the path before turning back to see my friends. No, my family fighting all for me. Thank you. With that, I headed inside of the castle. On day 100, I made it to the innermost chamber of the dark castle. The other wardens before you couldn't defeat me. What says you'll be any different? Because I made a promise to my friend, one that I intend to keep. Well, why don't you just join him? The Soul Eater roared as it began to charge at me. Every single one of his attacks withered away at my heart, but I wasn't holding anything back. 
I was using every ability at my disposal. Come on. I just need him to get weak enough. You'll die trying. With the powerful slam of his hand, I was brought down to low hearts. Take this. Ah! We were across from each other, both weaker than ever. This is it. With you out of the way, no one will be strong enough to stop me. And everything will be devoured. He rushed in towards me as I thought back to everyone I had met along the way. I never knew my place in this world, never knew my family, but I know now. He reached me and hit me with his strongest attack yet. Ah! Yes! My soul was being devoured, but because of this, it was tearing him apart. Yes! In a massive burst of energy, both the Soul Eater and I were destroyed, releasing all of the souls he had eaten, including my best friend, Grim. On day one, I spawned inside of a large skulk burial site as an ancient warden. I looked forward, only to see that there was a large grand warden standing in front of me. What's going on? My ancient boy, you have no idea how special you are. But we are not safe. We must go before he arrives. Who arrives? I followed the Grand Warden, rushing out of what looked to be my skull temple, only to reach a main area where the largest cosmic dragon I had ever seen was destroying my kind. Do not let him get to the Ancient One. All of my people were doing everything they could to defend against the dragon. Why would they do all of this? just for me but he was strong and completely obliterated them all where is the ancient warden i must kill him so that i can rightfully be the ruler of this realm shooting stars then blasted down from the sky summoning down a cosmic army listen that evil dragon will stop at nothing to make sure that you are dead you must go and find all of your ancient parts only then can we stop him he then slammed into the ground summoning a strange portal in front of me find the ancient claw then all else will be explained wait ah! No! Don't let him escape! On day two, I fell through the portal, only to see that I was inside a strange skulk maze. An ancient claw is here? Without a second thought, Kazakh men started to pour through the portal right behind me. Get back here! I began to run throughout the maze, doing my best to lose them. It was very tricky and even held parkour courses throughout it. Where is that ancient claw? I heard multiple of the cosmic men throughout the maze and knew that I was completely surrounded. But just then, a strange feeling filled from within, causing me to shoot out a sonic sound wave. Whoa, I can see through walls? I really am ancient. With my newfound ability, I was able to slip by my enemies one by one until finally I reached the main doorway. Sitting high up in the center of the room held the Warden Claw. How is this supposed to help me stop that dragon? I started to walk inside, but in a huge blue burst through the wall, summoned a cloaked figure. The ancient warden, here for the claw, I presume. How did you know that? Get him! Oh no. On day three, the cosmic minions began to charge straight towards me, but were quickly cut off by the cloaked man. Stand back. He started to use his mythical powers to protect me against their brutal attacks. I could tell that he knew how to properly fight, but I couldn't just stand there and let him get hurt. The claw, my boy, get it! I listened and went to pick the claws up. 
because of this, it attached to my body. I now have large and sharp warden claws, giving me five more hearts. Oh, yeah. I use my newfound attack to help me fight back against the last cosmic minion. With one final slash, the cosmic man was scared and ran away in fear. We will be back. You, you helped me. Why? Because, Ancient Warden, I am your creator. You are one of many ancient creatures that I have brought into this world, each holding great power and keeping everyone safe. But the Cosmic Dragon, he wants to change that by killing all of you. If he does, then he can obtain your power and use it to truly take over the world. No, I can't let that happen. Just then, a sick warden entered inside the room. The Grand Warden, he needs you. Oh no, I have to help. On day four, I left the crater behind and followed the tunnel's path until I found a huge battle-torn area where my leftover wardens were hiding in. Where is the Grand Warden? I then heard explosions sound off and I went over only to see him fighting off a large cosmic beast. I ran into the battle, doing my best to slash at the beast every chance that I could. He was a fierce opponent and launched a very heavy attack on the two of us. We will be back for you, Ancient Warden. The Cosmic Dragon will be the world's ruler. The beast left. Oh my goodness, they're all doing this just so they can kill me? Thank goodness you're alive. Yeah, but a lot of our people, they died just to save me. We need to find somewhere we can all hide and fast. On day five, I found a safe Skulk Valley for us wardens to stay safe in. I got enough materials using my strong warden claws to make myself a set of stone tools. From there, I built myself and my fellow wardens our very own ancient styled homes. I made sure mine was in the center and high up so that I can overlook my people and make sure that they were all safe. Good job finding the Ancient Claw. As the Ancient Warden, you can grow to be the strongest ancient creature by finding the rest of your ancient parts. Each grants you incredible abilities. As my Grand Warden finished his sentence, we both heard a loud explosion go off in the distance. What was that? I have to find out. Wait, don't go. I ignored him and went to investigate the noise. On day six, I followed the explosions until I saw a golem kingdom being absolutely destroyed. Golems ran for their lives, but were quickly taken out by more of the cosmic minions. This is terrible. You shall die. My attention got caught by the cosmic dragon. He was fighting against the kingdom's ancient golem. The golem was doing his best, but the dragon's pure strength was too much for him. Leave my people alone! You are a monster! I began to run in to help, but as I did, the dragon completely decimated him. No! Because of this, his ancient power started to transfer over to the dragon. <laughs> Now the only other ancient mob that is left is that warden. Once he is destroyed, my power will be limitless! Start searching! The dragon took to the skies, and his men quickly followed. I ran throughout the destroyed village, only to see pure destruction. I saw a baby golem crying to himself. Hey, are you okay? The dragon... He took my family away from me. I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to do whatever I can to stop him. I just need to find my other ancient parts. Wait a minute. I think I heard something about a warden horn being held not too far from here. That can be the next ancient part. I need to find it and get stronger. Can you tell me exactly where you think it is? On day seven, I followed the golem's directions deep into the closest desert until I finally found a lost desert city. I started to walk in, but as I did, the ground below me gave out. Ah! 
Where am I? I finally realized that I landed deep underground next to a hideout camp full of citizens and a small night fox. Whoa, whoa, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm here looking for the ancient warden horn. Oh, that thing? <laughs> Good luck! Good luck? What do you mean? He then brought me over through the cave tunnels until we reached a clearing that led inside the kingdom. Everywhere I looked was filled with threatening musical guards. Make sure there's no one left. The people you saw hiding out were all residents here protecting the ancient warden horn. We've all been pushed out by the conductor. The who? He's the one using your horn for his bidding. But if we take him down, then I can help my people get their homes back. Well, I'm sure getting to him won't be easy. Do you have any ideas? On day eight, the Fox Knight and I were sneaking through the city, making sure not to be seen by any of the guards. I used my warden sense, allowing us to avoid them every chance that we could. It wasn't long until we found a main castle. He resides in here. We both found a weak spot in one of the walls, and with my warden claws, I broke right through it. After walking in, I saw the that there was a man standing on a large stage with a flame on his head? Sit down, everyone. The show is about to begin. I looked around and noticed that he had a large crowd of musical guards watching. What is he going to perform? Well, you don't look like my usual audience. He turned and noticed us, causing me to see that he was using my warden horn. Hey, that's mine. This horn allows me to conduct my shows. The last residents here didn't appreciate them. I don't care. It belongs to me. You kicked those poor people out of their homes and will pay for that. Very well. I guess it's time for my new performance to begin. On day Days 9 to 10, the conductor began to perform, causing the entire stage around us to rumble. A very elegant song began to play, and because of this, his musical notes began to attack us? How is this even possible? I don't know! The fox and I tried our best to outmaneuver the conductor's song, but he was really good at his craft. He could summon singing fish out of thin in air and even encircle us with musical waves to trap us. This is so annoying. We have to get to the center. I began to slowly but surely make my way to where the conductor was. Don't you dare ruin the show. I then got close enough and was able to slash right at him again and again. With a few more of my hits, the conductor was down for the count. I did it. My music will live on. He dropped the ancient horn and I picked it up. Because of this, I upgraded. I gained five more hearts, grew larger in size, and now could burst out a powerful ancient boom. This is awesome. With the music ended, the knights then seemed to snap out of a trance. The conductor must have been mind controlling them with his music. What the, where am I? With him gone, my people can finally live safely in their homes again. All thanks to you. Hey, you helped too, you know. <laughs> if only. You see, I wish to one day be the world's best knight. One that anyone would fear. Well, why don't you join me? I'm sure that if we work together, we can make sure that that happens. On days 11 to 12, I made it back to my base with Phil, and I built him a nice night guard tower in the front of our city. All my life, I've been wanting to prove my worth as a knight, and with you, Fozo, ha! I just might! As I left Phil's house and was venturing deep into my base, I noticed a warden spider? He was mining Skulk from my people's base. Hey, what gives? Uh, the jig is up! The spider was startled and started to run away. Hey, get back here! On days 13 to 14, I started to chase the warden spider throughout the caves of glowing crystals. He was fast and agile, but I was slowly starting to catch up. Look, I'm sorry, but 
I needed your skulk! My leader, he needs it! What? Can't we just talk this out? But as I said this, I chased the spider into an open cavern with a massive ravine. Wait! The spider didn't listen and spun out a web that pulled him straight to the other side. No! Now how am I supposed to get him? Oh, come on. Get back here! Finally, I made it across and through the next set of tunnels, only to exit and see a large cosmic empire full of the cosmic dragon's forces. Oh no. There was cosmic energy spreading throughout the floors. And when I looked all the way at the top, there was a platform for none other than the cosmic dragon himself. He took to the air and flew around his empire, calling out to his men. Our newly made device is finally ready. Now, with just one single warden, I can sap their essence out and track down the Ancient One. That is not good. I can't let him find any warden kind. I looked down to see that the warden spider was running straight into the cosmic empire. No, get back here. On days 15 to 16, I began to sneak through the empire myself, but I knew I had to be careful. Come on, come on. Where did that spider go? Yeah. Oh no! I ran towards the sound, just in time to see that the warden spider was being confronted by the cosmic beast. Ugh, what a perfect little coincidence. You're coming with me! No, he isn't! I rushed in and began to try and fight him off. I attacked him with my ancient boom, and it definitely hurt him. But he still attacked with such ferocity. <laughs> felt much more evenly matched, but his attack still hurt a lot. Suddenly, the warden spider used an opening to entrap the beast in his webs. Whoa. What the? Hurry, it's not safe here. We gotta go. We both ran until we made it far enough away to feel safe again. What is going on? Why did you take our skulk? I, I just really needed some skulk for my main skulk leader. It keeps him alive, and the ancient skulk he uses isn't enough anymore. Wait, did you say ancient skulk? That's one of the items that I need. Maybe we could work out a trade? Oh, yeah, sure. I can bring you to them, but just know that it won't be easy. On day 17 to 18, I went with the warden spider until we reached another cavern, and at its center was a tunnel heading straight down into darkness. My whole civilization is just down there. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get down there? Oh, yeah, you're not a spider. Uh, here you go. The spider lunged forward and bit me. Ow! That should be... Do it. You temporarily have warden spider abilities now. Have fun. He jumped out over the dark tunnel and swung a web to rappel down into it slowly. Okay, Fozo. Don't panic. I jumped out and shot a web out. Ah, how do I control this thing? I swung around wildly until finally steadying myself above the tunnel. Phew. I then started to slowly lower my down inside. I really hate heights, and this is not helping. When I finally started to notice the tunnel opening, I saw a ton of warden spider eyes looking up at me. Um, hi? As I reached the floor, I heard a voice echo out into the chamber. Ah, <sighs> the ancient warden in my home. I looked back to see a huge web was spun across the walls and on it was the lead skulk spider. I never thought I'd live to see the day we would actually meet. On days 19 to 21, the skulk spider was looking down at me with weak but caring eyes. I know what you are here for. He moved aside to show he was in possession of the ancient skulk. I am very old 
old, and I have looked over the spiders for centuries. This precious skulk, it's the only thing keeping me alive. I'm sorry, but I need it too. Is there anything I could do to help you? Well, there just might be one thing that could sustain my life in place of it. Really? What is it? The spider brought me towards the tunnel that eventually led out into the sunlight. And just across the area on the surface was a crazy looking laboratory. There, a mad scientist makes copious amounts of potions with the DNA of my spider kind. He has a skulk potion that could suffice in feeding me. All right, I'll get it. But uh, be warned, Fozo. None of my spiders have been able to stop him. You might not make it out alive. On days 22 to 26, I slowly made my way inside of the laboratory, trying not to be spotted. I didn't see the scientist anywhere, but I did find a room full of lab equipment. And there, sitting high up on a shelf of potions, was a bottle glowing with skulk. Perfect. Now, how to get it down? I centered my chest towards the top shelf and took a deep breath in. Here goes nothing. I used my skulk horn attack, trying to knock down the potion, but I missed and knocked over a ton of other ones on the floor. Uh-oh. Who dares break into my my laboratory. Running angrily into the room was the mad scientist. An ancient warden. Oh, how precious. An even rarer ingredient for my experiments. <laughs> he rushed in to defend his lab. He would swipe at me with his mechanical arm. So I tried to back away and use my skull corn, but he would then hurl potions at me. Ah! He was extremely tough and quickly outsmarted me in every single way. How am I supposed to beat this guy? When I finally got off my attack, I had an idea and knocked more potions down that collided into him, causing his body to change. What have you done? Um, sorry? This didn't slow him down, though, as he continued to attack in his monstrous form. It was a tough fight, but I was eventually able to take him down. I went over and grabbed the skulk potion. All right, time to get out of here. On days 27 to 29, I returned turned to the skulk warden spider and gave him the skulk potion. Ah, you bested the scientist. He drank it in one gulp. And even though it was so small, the potion caused him to grow even larger. That feels so much better. The skulk is yours. The spider moved to the side, giving me a clear view of the ancient skulk. Yes, I ran up and grabbed it, causing me to grow even stronger. I gained five more hearts. And as the skulk rushed through me, I realized I had gained a new attack. I can now dig down and burst violently out of the earth. I could burrow. Awesome. You know, all of your work here has reminded me that I'm not going to be here to protect my people forever. One day, my spiders will need someone to lead them. And I think you might be the one to do it. On days 30 to 32, the Skulk Spider led me deep within a civilization and into a Skulk arena full of webs. Without the ancient Skulk, it's only a matter of time before I'm gone. But you, Fozo, will lead my spiders and all the other wardens as the ancient warden. It is your destiny. I will do it for all of the wardens and all of ancient kind. But the question is, are you worthy? The Skulk Spider then rushed in and began to attack. Ah! What the? He continued to fight me, but this time I was ready. We started to trade hits as he would launch webs and poisonous attacks at me. I retaliated with my claws and we both were taking some heavy damage. Are you strong enough to keep our people safe? He flung even more webs around the arena, almost completely surrounding me. Back off! I quickly used my new ability to dig down into the earth and burst out right underneath him, knocking him back with one powerful blow. You have bested me. Now, I truly believe that you are strong enough to lead my spiders. Go, be the ancient warden, and unite us all. 
On days 33 to 35, I made my way back to my ancient city base with the warden spiders marching behind me. I was about to gather materials when I looked and saw them starting to build with their own webs. I joined them in building their very own spider home in the city. Whoa, you guys are pretty good at building with this stuff, huh? Oh yeah, and we will do whatever it takes to help keep this place safe and protected. Sounds like a plan. My, my, Fozo. Look at you, already stepping up to our true calling. Which is? It's to unite and lead all the warden kind. You have only seen a fraction of what your powers can really do. Just then, I felt rumbling under my feet, as if it felt like the whole city was beginning to shake. What is going on? In a flash, a mystical-looking shrine was summoned into our base. Whoa, isn't that the same book the ancient creator had? I cautiously approached it as I felt a strong pull to pick it up. Once I did, I began to read it as my mind was filled with knowledge and the creator appeared before me. On days 36 to 39, my vision came back and it felt like it was only me and the creator in an ancient crypt. You have done well to survive this long, Pozo, but you are still not not strong enough yet. I'm doing whatever it takes. I know. That is why I am here to tell you about the next ancient heart. The ancient Warden Heart. Where? Where is it? You will find it within a volcano in the depths of the fiery never. But no ordinary one. A deep, dark biome resides there as well. When you find that, you'll find the Skull Nether Volcano. Well, I need to find it. Fast! The creator vanished without another word, and I was left there in my base as my vision returned to me. I immediately left my base and hurried back above ground. But as I did, I was completely ambushed. In front of me was the Cosmic Beast with a group of their men. What? No! Oh, yes, Ancient Warden. I have finally found you! The Cosmic Beast and the other men began to attack me all at once! No! With one more powerful strike, I began to feel weak. On days 40 to 44, I awoke trapped in a cage and hanging above rows and rows of seating. All around in the seats were tons of cosmic minions. This is not good. The cosmic beast then started to approach my cage from the stands. There's no escaping this time. We've got you. And soon, the cosmic dragon will be here. You're done. For. <laughs> no, I'm basically dragon food trapped in here. I gotta get out. Ah! I clawed away at the cage, but it was no use. I felt completely helpless until a blast of sonic energy broke the bottom of my cage. Ah! What was that? I looked over to see the Grand Warden. What are you doing here? Saving you. Come on, we need to go. No! We started to run, but before we could get anywhere, the cosmic dragon was flying in. Oh no. On days 45 to 47, the cosmic dragon crashed down in front of us. Are you trying to escape? Back off. Let us go. You should be careful talking to me like that. As your soon-to-be ruler, I could make your death very slow and very painful. You are a coward. You don't deserve to roll over anyone. <laughs> the cosmic dragon charged in, about to hit me with a powerful attack. When the Grand Warden stepped in the way, he took the hit much better than I would have, but it seemed to hurt a lot. You must leave now, Bozo. But I can't leave you behind. 
<laughs> you aren't, because I'll always be with you. Ah! The Grand Warden threw an attack that pushed the dragon back. Go, lead the Wardens and put a stop to this. He dropped a dark nether star towards me and then ran in to face the cosmic dragon alone. They began to fight as the dragon took blow after blow. I picked up the item and began to use it just as I looked up to see the dragon kill the Grand Warden. No! Suddenly, the item summoned another portal behind me, and I had no choice but to escape through it. On days 48 to 51, I landed in a strange rocky biome in the nether. The Grand Warden, he sacrificed himself just for me. I have to avenge him and find that deep volcano. Keep it down. I looked over and saw some magma snails cowering in fear. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to. We aren't scared of you, loser. It's that wizard piglin and his stupid gauntlet. He forced us out of our home. Really? But why? Can you show me where? I followed the magma snails as they led me through the nether and took me across a large pool of lava. Look, there he is. I looked up and directly in front of us on a netherrack beach was a tall piglin wizard destroying the homes of the snails. Where is my gold? Hey, man, calm down. This isn't your home. We can talk about it. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. One of these snails took my gold, and I will not calm down. The wizard piglin began to charge a magical attack. Uh-oh. On days 52 to 53, I realized that the piglin was trying to attack the snails. Oh, no, you don't. I tried to defend them by using my warden boom on him, but he would reach up with his magical gauntlet and summon rifts into the air to attack me. Ah, even teleporting in ghast like creatures? What kind of magic is this? I pushed forward and used the brute strength of my claws to fight him, but he was quick and I didn't want to hurt him. Him. Please, don't you think that we can resolve this? I'm not leaving without my gold! I looked up past the wizard piglin to see a magma snail standing on one of the destroyed homes. Hold it! What? What's going on? Fine, all right. I have your gold, dude, here. Jeez. I knew it! Dude, why would you take that guy's gold? Look at our homes now! It was shiny, man! Back up! Well, I'm just glad no one had to get hurt. Now, to find that deep, dark volcano. A deep, dark volcano, huh? I know exactly where that place is. On days 54 to 56, the wizard piglin used his magical rifts to teleport us to the base of the deep volcano. As I looked up at it, I saw that it stood out in the nether. Even the lava was made out of molten skulk. Whoa! You done sightseeing! Come on! It's this way! I followed the piglin all the way up to the top, where I looked down to see pure darkness below. Okay. So I'm supposed to go into its heart, but how? Like this! The piglin hit me from behind! Ah! Oh, where am I? I looked around at my new surroundings. I was in an enclosed space, and before me were platforms above more skulk lava. Only one way to go. I began to leap between the platforms, being careful not to fall down below. As I went, the platforms began to get smaller and smaller. Come on, I'm so close. Yes, I finally made it across to see that I was in the heart of the deep volcano, but something didn't feel right. On days 57 to 59, I began to look around the room in search of the ancient heart. Wait, is this it? That is correct. I turned around and appearing in the entryway was an intimidating skulk golem. This is the ancient heart you seek, 
Warden, but it must be fulfilled. Okay, how do we do that? I need it to- Silence! I knew that one day the ancient warden would come to this place looking for the heart. But if you want it, you must fill it. I then noticed around the room were three pools of skulk lava that were connecting to the tubes of the heart. So I just need to fill the heart. Correct. While I test your dedication. Begin! On days 60 to 63, the Skulk Golem rushed forward to attack me. Whoa! I dug into the earth to dodge his attack and appeared next to the first pool of Skulk. Here goes nothing! I blasted the pool with my Warden Boom, causing the Skulk to shoot up and into the pipe. The heart then slightly filled. It worked! Clever, but still two to go! The Golem continued to attack me, and I tried to use my abilities to my advantage, but so was he. I barely ran past him and shot into the next pool, filling the heart again. Who are you to be strong enough to stop the cosmic dragon? I am the ancient warden. I launched another warden boom attack towards the golem. He dodged it, but because of this, my attack hit the last pool, filling the heart. Because of this, the heart shrunk down to size and fell to the floor. Well, Fozo, you have proven to me your dedication. Please take your reward. I ran up and grabbed it, causing me to grow even stronger. I gained five more hearts, and now I could summon sonic spikes from the ground that blinded my enemy. Awesome! On days 64 to 68, I used the Grand Warden's item to make another portal out of the nether. But when I appeared in the overworld, everything around me was corrupted by cosmic energy. Oh, Oh no! There you are! Slamming down into the area was the cosmic beast. How did you find me? After you made a fool of me, we paid your little ancient city a visit. Your people are ours, and they told us exactly where you went. <laughs> no! The beast barreled towards me to attack. We clashed as our massive forms began to brawl. We started to trade blows. As I could tell, he was attacking with pure rage. His claws launched me back, taking me down to just a few hearts. Ah! No Grand Warden to save you now. You're right, but I'm doing this for him and all of the Wardens. I left forward and used my new ability to cut down the Cosmic Beast in one one final attack. Yes. Now I have to hurry home. On days 69 to 72, I returned back to my base to see that everything was destroyed. I didn't see a single soul left in the whole city. All of the wardens, everyone gone. Hello? Fozo, over here! I ran over and saw that Phil was alive, standing in front of his guard tower. Phil, I'm sorry I wasn't- No, no, it's my fault. I let everyone down. You wardens are here to protect everybody, and I just wanted to protect you all. I couldn't even do that. You can't blame yourself. The cosmic forces are way too strong now, and that's why I need to find the last ancient piece. Only then can we save everyone. The last piece? I remember talking to the Grand Warden about it a while back. He said something about a warden catacombs? Warden catacombs? Yeah, and I think I know exactly where it is. On day 73 to 74, I went with Phil as we ran through the cosmic corrupted overworld until we found it. The warden catacombs entrance. Yup, this is it. The grand warden had a lot to say about this place, but uh, I guess he never said how to open. Yeah, I wish he was here to tell us now. Suddenly, a huge bat flew down from the ceiling and stuck me back. You won't be getting in there. This is my home. All mine. Hey, 
Hey, stay away from him. Phil ran into attack, but was swatted away. We began to battle as the bat would leap around, digging their claws into me. I fought off with my abilities, but they would also cast out shadowy darkness that blinded me. Ah! Yeah. Time to fade! Just then, Phil ran right in front of me. Phil, wait! I said stay away! <laughs> he screamed out and transformed into a much stronger knight. He now had a much larger cleaver to fight with, and even his armor improved. Ha! He swung with one attack of his new weapon and sent the huge bat flying back, slamming into the catacombs entrance. Ah! <sighs> Not fair. I'm getting out of here. The bat scurried out of the area, but as they did, Phil's hit had caused the entrance to break open. Yeah, go Phil. On day 75 to 80, the two of us entered into the catacombs and saw that the hallways were lined with tombs of wardens. We made it to a final room where resting in the center was an even larger tomb. So, uh, now what? Just then, raising out of the tomb was the spirit of the Grand Warden. You finally made it, my boy. I don't understand. How, how is this possible? I know you must be confused, but no, I'm so proud of the dedication you have shown throughout this journey. Soon you will be strong enough to face the cosmic dragon with the power of the final ward in peace. And it lies here. And where is here exactly? Look around you, Fozo. The ancient soul is the souls of all wardens that came before, and now they must become one with you. What? In a bright flash, I was teleported into a shadowy arena with only me and the spirit of the Grand Warden. That was until an armor of spiritual wardens appeared all around us. On days 81 to 85, all of the spirits of the past wardens started to move closer to me. Withstand their onslaught and they will accept you. Multiple of them charged in and began to attack. They looked so frail and old, but their attacks packed a punch. Ah! Attack after attack, they hit me as I was trying to swing back at them and defend myself. Some of them were knocked back, but more just kept coming. Hold your ground, Fozo. Hold my ground? That's right. I need to let them become one with me. I stood and let the spirit rush through me as I felt them merge inside. Wow, that felt weird. Now the last test, me. The Grand Warden rushed into attack. His attacks were so strong, and it felt so weird fighting him. But I knew what this was for. Ha! He then rushed forward and was about to crush me. But I quickly dug under the arena and was able to leap up and strike the Grand Warden Spirit from behind. Then, in one final blow, he was knocked back and looked at me proudly. You have done well, my boy. Now lead them well. His spirit merged into me as well. And because of this, I felt all of the ancient souls empower me. I gained 10 more hearts and was now the most powerful warden ever. I did it. On days 86 to 90, I was making my way back to base with Phil when we heard shouting up ahead. Get back in your cage. I looked out and saw that the cosmic dragon and his forces were putting everyone in sight in cages and those who resisted died. No! <laughs> Be quiet! You are all a waste of my time! That ancient warden is hiding like a coward! Ah, now take this world for myself, whether he likes it or not. Where are you now, ancient warden? I need to stop him! But first, we need backup. We have to see if there's anyone left at home. You're right, Phil. We need all of the help we can get. Let's go rally the troops. On days 91 to 94, I made it safely back to base with Phil as he found and gathered up all of the scared warden spiders. Thank goodness you guys are okay. All right, everyone. It's time we fight that cosmic army. I I'm sorry.
sorry, Fozo. I just don't think that we can do this. You have kept us safe so far, but look around. They destroyed the entire base. We can't stop them. No, guys. We can. Together. Then, in a huge burst of blue light, the ancient creator appeared in the middle of us all. Your warden leader is right. Creator? I will stand with you in this fight, Fozo. The cosmic dragon must be stopped. Here, here! You're right! Here, here! All the warden spiders were now motivated with hope and started to cheer. It's time to end this! On days 95 to 99, we all made it to the massive cosmic empire together. The path forward was filled with more minions than ever. And up on his high throne was the cosmic dragon. How pathetic. You brought all your little friends to fight with you. Go, my cosmic forces, and devour them! His cosmic forces started to pour in from everywhere and rush towards us. Charge! Phil ran in and led a group of warden spiders to battle. He would cut down each minion with heavy blows from his cleaver. And I watched as the ancient creator fought groups of them alone. Go, Fozo! Face the cosmic dragon and show him the power of the ancients! I'm on it! I dug down into the ground and made my way to the top of the structure. On day 100, I erupted from the ground in front of the cosmic dragon. So, you really believe that you can stop me? Yes, and I'm going to, right here, right now. You fool, I've destroyed every other ancient being. What's one more? We began to fight as his massive form came lumbering towards me. I was so much stronger now, so I wasn't scared. Ah! I would blast him with my warden boom and use every opportunity to try and blind him with my leaping attack. The dragon roared into the air, and it felt like the gravity of the entire galaxy was holding me down. I can't move. He then struck me with his claws, and I was so low on hearts. No. Once I get rid of you, I'll have control of this entire reality, and I can reshape it to my liking. So long. Ancient Warden. The dragon came in to strike one last time, but I dug down just in time to dodge. I then appeared behind him, placing him between me and the edge of his empire. You know I won't let you do that. This is for all of the ancient beings and all Warden kind. Yeah! I fought back against the dragon, hitting harder than I ever had before. I used all of my new abilities whenever I could and could tell that the cause dragon was starting to get overwhelmed by my upgrades. No! It's impossible! How? How? With one final hit, I took the cosmic dragon down. I did it! The cosmic forces were defeated, and this reality could finally live in peace.